your teenage son is not doing his chores. He's sitting around languidly <laughs> instead of mowing the lawn or taking out the trash. You have a subordinate who's not performing up to their expectations. They're leaving jobs undone. They're doing them sloppily. Raise your hand if anything like that has ever happened to you. Most of you. Okay. So, so you might be, and if you didn't raise your hand, then you can go to sleep for the next 10 minutes or so. But in the unlikely event that you have encountered a situation where somebody who is subordinate to you has not performed up, up to expectations, what I'm going to talk about today is one way to address it in such a way that it will be resolved to the mutual satisfaction of both of you or at least stand a high probability of doing so. And this builds upon some of the other skills that I've discussed previously, most notably something called an impact statement. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what an impact statement is. So an impact statement is everything that an iMessage should be, if you know what an iMessage is. The difference between an impact statement and an iMessage, for those of you who know what that is, is that impact statements tend to work and iMessages tend to not work. <laughs> At least that's been my experience. So what is the difference? Here is an impact statement, is that you begin with a non-blameful and non-judgmental description of what's been happening. And the non-judgmental is the key part. Because whenever we hear judgment or criticism, then we tend to put up resistance even if the criticism is justified, and even if the judgment is something which is accurate. This is how we all are, no matter how much we might want to, there's still that resistance. And so you begin with no criticism or judgment, and you in other words, you describe the situation as if you were a video camera looking at it. A video camera has no judgment. A video camera just describes what it sees and what it hears. So that's the first part. The second part is you describe the tangible and concrete impact of what you're observing. Again, without criticism, without judgment. Because the tangible impact is the consequence of what you're observing. And that can be done without blaming the other person. And finally, you express your desired result, and here's where the real kicker comes in, is that you do that without telling them what to do or how to do it. <laughs> you express your desired result without telling them what to do or how to do it. Why is this important? And by the chuckles, it sounds like you're a little skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> about whether this could possibly produce anything. To getting buy into the concept. The reason this is so important is because when you tell someone what to do, you're acting in a parental role to them. You're being parent to their child, and nobody likes to be told what to do. Nobody. I don't care if it's from your boss, I don't care if it's from your parent, or from your kid telling you what to do. <laughs> Those of us who've had teenagers perhaps have heard them tell us what to do? <laughs> Nobody likes it. I have never met a single person who likes being told what to do. And so if you tell someone what to do and how to do it, then they will resist. Now, how does that fit into the session? We begin the session with an impact statement, describing the situation, expressing the tangible and concrete impact, and then expressing our desired result without telling them what to do or how to do it. So you're probably thinking, well, how do you resolve the problem? And what do you do if you get resistance? Well, first of all, if you get resistance, then what you do is you validate it. You don't resist the resistance. You understand it. You reflect back to them the fact that you get why this is being resisted. Because there's a reason why the performance has not been up to expectations. It might be that the expectations were never clearly communicated. There might be a perfectly good reason for this. 
And that will come out of the validation process. And then after you've had that discussion, you will seek input from the, that person to the desired result. And what that does is allow the two of you to brainstorm the possibilities. It changes the problem between something between you and puts you on a team with a problem out here. You agree upon a solution out of the ones that you brainstormed. And then this is, this is very important. You schedule a follow-up to make sure that there aren't some unintended consequences of what that is and to see how that's working. And finally, you acknowledge any results that may come forward. And, and this is also very important to give positive feedback when you see a positive change and you see that the solution is resolving itself. And if it isn't, then you repeat the process. You say, lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> and if somehow you can never come to a complete resolution in this kind of setting, since you are the superior and they are subordinate, then maybe some other type of situation may be called for. Okay, so that is the process. And I will now... Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm going. I'm going to have a role play. Don Free has graciously agreed to be a the role player in this. And in in this scenario, uh, I am I'm an IT manager, and Don is an IT worker. <laughs> so we're kind of flipping roles a little bit, and. The, the situation is that a number of jobs that he's been tasked with have not been completed in a timely manner, and when they've been completed, they haven't been done completely to expectations. And this is actually based on a scenario that Don himself conveyed to me where he was on the other end of it. So we'll begin with, with the impact statement, and I ask you to notice whether or not I'm, you know, how I'm, I'm phrasing this. And again, this is unscripted, so I, I don't know what's going to come out. Uh, so, Don, I'm, I'm glad that you agreed to, to meet for this. Um, what, what I've been noticing is that some of the jobs have not been completed by the deadline, and that some of the ones that have been completed haven't been quite to what has been specified. And as a result, I've been receiving feedback from some of the clients on this that that they haven't been meeting their deadlines and that the completed tasks haven't been quite meeting their expectations. And so I would like to find a way so that the jobs can be completed on time and, and to the expectations. Well, let me go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them don't always get done on time, but a good number of them do. No. Well, I'm not sure that I would necessarily agree with that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so hearing this catches you by surprise. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah. And and so it would surprise you that that we have received some feedback from from the clients to the effect of what I mentioned. Yeah. I've always done good work in the past, and no one's ever complained. So I, and I'm just continuing to do what I you know I've always done. What's so I know. Yeah. I'm, surprised by that. Oh, and, and, and there has been some good work, and in some of these cases, uh, it, as I said, it hasn't been completed on time, so per perhaps you're not um, aware of the fact that they hadn't been completed on time. Well, yeah, but uh, sure, some of them didn't get done right when they wanted them necessarily, but you know, with all the other things that I do, this is the best I could, I could get done. Oh. So, you know, I have to prioritize. So, so perhaps you're feeling that the amount of work you're given is, is too much for the expectations. Well, I don't know if the amount is too much, but maybe they don't fully understand all that goes into it, uh -huh. so that they think I should do it in two days when really it yeah. could be a three-day thing. Uh -huh. yeah. And then with all the other stuff I'm doing too. Okay, yeah. And, and, and when that happens, you've been, um, uh, since that hasn't been communicated, that, that it would, might take a little bit longer. I'm wondering if that might be a possibility. Can you mean for me to let them know? 
And of course, they could ask. <laughs> and you know, w when the schedules are given, the the expectations uh, about the due dates are are, are, are I, I think fairly reasonable. And I'm wondering if we could work out a way that uh, that they could be met more on time. Yeah, maybe if you ask me <laughs> before just telling me. Oh, okay. so I say I need this by that. You say, can we? Oh, okay. You know, this has to be done this day, that day. If you give me some flexibility, maybe I can work through that and um, prioritize my workflow. Okay, so it's done when they need it, or let them know when oh. I, if I can't. Okay, so 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 the way that it's conveyed would would, would help you uh, meet the the deadlines more easily. Well, at least allow me to have some input into it. Oh, yeah. So, so, so you'd like some input into the schedule. Perhaps you feel that it's been a little bit too uh, too tight or, or a little one-sided. Yeah, yeah somebody. <laughs> sure. and, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to okay. you know, let them know exactly how long something could take and give them some expectation okay. of when they can get it back. And, and so when that's done, uh, I can be assured that it will be done at, at those times. As best as I can, sure. As long as you don't give me something else to do. Uh, as best, so it, when I hear as best as I can, that sounds like maybe I might not be able to count on get, getting them done. Well, something that always happened. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. <laughs> so um, so I, I'd, I'd like to, to, I'm willing to try this, and I'd like to have a meeting in, in another couple weeks and, and see how that went. Sure. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, now open to you for questions and answers. <laughs> Save it. So, from a developmental point of view, mm -hmm. knowing the material as a program manager administrator of mm -hmm. the constraint theory in this specific example. You're talking about constraints of cost and schedule, or co cost and schedule driving your scope problems, correct? Uh, Wouldn't that be, be, Don, the issue? Well, I guess, to me, I guess my question is, is it important to know the exact frame of reference that you're talking to the, to the person and be able to address it from the same point of reference? Because it seemed like you two were talking past each other a little bit. So, uh, okay. well, 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 two things. In, in, a, in context, you would, we would both know more of the full context in, in, a role, in the role play. Just again, I, I knew less about it, so uh, I'm not quite understanding the second part. I'll get with you offline. Okay. I didn't want him to pin me down. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he I was. I didn't want to make a commitment, to yeah, yeah. so I was trying to avoid that. Yeah, I guess that's my question. Do you think you have closure, uh, satisfactory closure? Uh, in this case, no, uh, to be honest. Uh, it, it, there was, I, I felt time constrained you know, by this. I think in an actual setting, it, it would be a meeting a little bit longer. Yeah, because uh, I, I think with I think with the dialogue, if I if it had been allowed to progress a little bit more, that that you know some of the some of the other things I think would have would have come up, you know. That that, that is the, I mean, he, he he was basically sort of saying, well, it's not really a problem, and and I and I can handle it, whatever. And the, and then that, I mean, in my position, that that isn't quite uh, okay. So it, it would. The thing is, with something like this, uh, whenever there's that underlying uh, cause of the resistance, if you don't get to that. And solve what that underlying problem is, then you're not really going to have a stable solution to what to what the problem is. Mm -hmm. So, so that that's the objective of this. And and, and uh, I, in this time, we we weren't able to get to that. Yes. Yeah, Harry. Will you only find the um, what did you just call it? My mind blank. Will you only find the underlying cause if he gives you that resistance? Because that's where he's giving you that resistance. That's where you're able to question it. But what if he just says okay and agrees to whatever it is? Well, then I would, if you notice, at one point when he was sort of, he, I said something to the effect of, you know, so I can be assured that, 
that things will be done on time. Uh, so b basically, pin them down <laughs> in a nice way, hopefully. Uh, in a way that's not, you know, so you better get it done on time. But, you know, so again, I'm expressing my need in, in, in terms of my role, which is to have, to have them completed on time. And, and the whole idea is to transition into a, into a place where we can work on it together. And um, the, the thing is, is that the, the, the idea is to give the other person more of a stake in, in this rather than being told what to do. So, so it came across, it may have come across a little more wishy-washy than, than you might have expected because I wasn't, I didn't want to get to the point where I'm telling him what to do. Well, thank you very much, ma'am.